What's up guys, Sasha here and today I'm bringing you my banlist wishlist. So, just to double check, it's my banlist wishlist, not a prediction, so this isn't what I expect from Konami at all. Um, they will probably fail at the banlist and just hit one of two insignificant cards and call it a day. Like they usually do. But this is what I would like to see, being banned, limited, semi-limited and unlimited. Will be quite lengthy, I have quite some cards I want to get banned. You know, to be specific, 16 banned cards, 8 limits. 5 semi limits and 12 unlimited. So, quite some moves I want to see on the ban list. And I haven't even covered every single card yet. <laughs> but, anyways, let's get into this, shall we? So, the first card I want to see in the band is Nibiru, the primal being. I do not know why Konami even released this card to begin with. What were they thinking? Were they even thinking? You can just tribute on your opponent's field after 5 summons. This means now every new designed combo arch type. Must be able to set up at the gate before 5 summons, or else it's completely useless as you can just Nibiru them. This introduces a type of power creep to the game that is not healthy for the game at all. Besides that, there's no real playing around it. More than you go, you just need to all in the first turn. If you're playing something that isn't stun. But if you want the game to be just stun, well... That's not your hero, is it? We should be able to have diver diversity and Nibiru. It's not healthy for the game, it's just like Kaijus, it's just like Ash, it's just like other recent cards. It's not for the good for the game and it will just incre increase the amount of power creep in the game. So let's see Nibiru banned. Next card I want to see banned, and I'm serious with this one, Arcana Force 21 The World. This card cannot be used for casual use, the only use this card really has is FTKs. Because the only useful effect this card has is skipping your opponent's turn. So, you either don't use this card, or you're skipping your opponent's turn, which is basically just instantly an FTK. I mean, if you skip their turn and you don't FTK, you really screwed up. There's literally no other use for this card, and I don't think Arcana Force can ever get a good card with this card around. And it's quite abusable, as, I, as I've already found. So I'd say, why not ban Arcana Force the world when lo losing out on nothing, basically? Next card I want to see banned is August Harp Horror, I mean... Orcus is so obnoxious right now, do I need to say more? The ability to just combo from the grave is too much, let's just hit the deck. And the final main deck monster I want to see banned is Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. This card's been too good for too long. If a card is almost a staple at 3 in every single deck, it's probably overpowered. There was something wrong. Unless it's something like Upstart Goblin, which even Upstart Goblin you wouldn't see in every deck. But at this point Ash Blossom is almost every single deck. And the card is so obnoxious. Being able to negate any search, any special summon from the deck, meaning every arch type has to be has to have multiple searches, has to have combos from one card to be relevant. It does not create a healthy meta. Oh yeah, just played called by the grave. Oh yeah, sure, because that card should be in the game. Spoiler alert, it's on my limited list. I mean, we need to reduce the amount of overpowered hand traps in the game. And reduce the counters to hand traps so that we can have a healthy game with some interaction here and there that isn't just all OTKs. But hell, at this point we probably <laughs> can't even reach that point anymore. So into my banned spell cards. First one, card of demise. So I can't think of any fun deck that I would like to see in the game and would like to have existing that can run card of demise. It's such an unfun card. Only decks that do not interact with your opponent and just set floodgates, just set the gates. A little bit negates our interaction with your opponent. Yeah, fair enough, you get what I mean. Like, no healthy for the game kind of deck runs card of the mice. This card just promotes. Oh, yeah, I. Uh, very good player. I uh, draw a uh, code of the mice. Uh, oh, top deck, draw three cards. Well, I'm so good at this game. Yeah, no, get this card banned, like, seriously. Or at least limited, so. The decks have some extra power if they top deck it, but it's not too reliable. I don't know, I don't like this. So, second card, uh, second spell card, I should say, is Super Polymerization. Who in the right just mind decided this card should go to 3 out of everything? I can see arguments made for one copy being legal, but 3 copies is too damn much. This isn't even out of salt. Anyone can see that this card is not healthy for the game. It removes monsters from the field and you cannot respond to it. Sure, we have Dark Ruler no more, but that card is at least somewhat fine. Because you can still negate it with other cards. You can literally can't negate super polymerization. This card is just unhealthy in so many ways. And yeah, I don't mind that fusions can fuse with opponent's monsters. Maybe make a hyper polymerization that is about the same but isn't spell speed 3 or something. Sorry, spell speed, spell speed 4. But this card is just so obnoxious. 
Like, it's bad game design in general. I don't think it's healthy for the game to have a card that you can't respond to that removes your cards. Like, what the hell? So, next card is Gateway of the Six. Sorry, Samurai Six Samurai players, but the only thing I can see Six Samurais do is FTKs, hand loops, that kind of stuff. Six Samurais just do it way too easily with Gateway of the Six. Yeah, but there's this card that can counter them. There's this card that can counter them. Yeah, so what? There's a lot of cards you can counter that should be on the ban list. Level either can get countered, just DD Crow it. Doesn't mean I want to see it legal. I mean, part of me does, but I'm not actually wishing for it to be legal. Like, Gateway of the Six? <sighs> It just prevents any future six on my support from being too from being too great as well. I don't think Gateway of the Six should belong in this game. So the next spell I want to see banned is Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. I mean the ability to just add a recurring discard to your hand is not okay. Whoever thought this card in combination with Isolde was a good idea. Should not be working for Konami anymore. And now I'm not saying to ban Isolt, I'm saying to get rid of Phoenix Blade. Without Phoenix Blade, Isolt needs to actually send some cards for cost. Yes, you can run a Bamboo Engine, which takes quite a big amount of cards in your deck to actually run it. But then you need to run some other equips, so Isolt actually becomes less. Way too strong. And this is just too abusable right now, in my opinion. Feel free to disagree, but especially interactions with cards like Armageddon Knight are disgusting right now. And I don't think Phoenix Blade is healthy for the game. Talking about cards that aren't healthy for the game, Mystic Mine. Do I even need to explain this? Why hasn't Konami banned this yet? What were they thinking when they designed this? I can't think of a single reason why Mystic Mine should remain in the game any longer. It's just so... It's like other cards, just so obnoxious. Just locking your opponent out of the game unless they top deck something like Twin Twister, Mystical Space Typhoon. I hate cards that force you to top deck and out, if you haven't noticed yet. And this is one of them. So screw Mystic Mine. Next cards are three trap cards that basically do the same. There can be only one. Goes and Match and Rivalry of Warlords. They're basically all float gates that don't really affect the player using them. And totally lock the opponent out of the game. Think of it like Vantage Emptiness without a drawback for the decks that actually use it. Yeah, that's not exactly good for the game, is it now? And there can be only one, especially makes Sky Strikes just such a good deck. Without there can be only one, they need to actually put in effort to win. But there can be only one, it's just such a disgusting floodgate. I mean, floodgates inherently are bad for the game, so let's just... Well, let's just say it like this. Floodgates that don't have a maintenance cost, or that don't affect you, are bad for the game. And that's what these three are, so... Let's not keep them around, shall we? The final card I want to see banned for traps is Imperial Order. I mean, it just negates all spells. Nowadays, that's half of your deck. Yeah, it's at one. That just makes it sacky. That doesn't make it healthy. You just get it away from the game. Yeah, but it's not optional. Or it is destroyed. Yeah, I don't care. It's negating every single spell. It just makes it way too easy to lock you out of the game. I mean, flip this up. Flip Mystic Mine up. GG. Sh like, shake hand. Well, that doesn't work. Because you engage your own spells. I'm just... Yeah. You, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Um, Imperial Order just isn't healthy for the game. Yeah, I'm just saying it sometimes. So, time for extra deck cards. The first card I want to see it banned is Naturia Beast. I mean, it's too easy to make, especially with Needle Fiber around, and I want Needle Fiber to stay in the game. So, get this out of here. This card will only get better as time goes on. I mean, the cost is non existent. You can just negate every single spell. Just like Imperial Order, but at least you need to somehow hard draw Imperial Order most of the time. There are combos, but you know. Usually, you need to hard draw it. Naturia Beast, you can just synchro summon, and then you lock your opponent out of. About half of their cards, plus minus, depending on what deck they're playing, so that's not good. Talking about cards that aren't healthy for the game, I want to see Outer Entity as a told band. Now, it might not be relevant at the moment, but just being able to lock your opponent out of monster effects for the entire turn, this either means they cannot use a single hand trap in your turn, except infinite impermanence, or you summon it in their turn and they cannot use any monster effects. And it's the summoning condition, you can't really negate it, like... What kind of drugs were Konami using when they designed Outer Entity as a thought? Can I have some? Sounds like good stuff. And the final card I want to see banned is number 39, Utoka okay, Double. Now this card I added last moment, I think, uh, personally, it makes one turn killing your opponent just way too easy. If you ever want to see this game go on longer than one turn, this card needs to go. Utoka okay, Lightning does enough damage for two level 4s already. 
We don't need to be able to do 10k damage of tier level 4s in this game. Yeah, you need to run a Garnet called Double or Nothing, but even then, do we really want ex easy access to 10k damage like that? I don't think so. It's it's not good for the long-term state of the game. It might not be really used in meta decks. I mean, I know Magical Musketeers use it, and I've seen Sky Striker builds run it. Just looking at future card designs, something like this shouldn't exist. Such an easy one-turn kill. Anyways, those were the cards I want to see banned. Let's see which cards I want to see limited. Starting out, Fairy Tail Snow. This card has been on the ban list for a short while now, and it was hit because... Question mark. Well, I mean, I could see it getting abused in certain decks, sure, but one single copy. That will not hurt the game that much. I mean, yeah, BA will get stronger. So, what? I just want to play Large Horns again. Honestly, I'm biased. I want to play Large Horns, and this card kind of hurts. This card not existing hurts Large Horns, so bring it back. Next card I want to see limited is Instant Fusion. I mean, especially with cards like Cl Clotheep coming up, this card has too much potential. Um, even if it's not abused right now, it will get abused in the future. Just being able to cheese out a fusion monster like this. Yeah, it's not good for the game at all. Um, like, theoretically, there aren't that many cards that decks that can abuse it right now. I know, for example, Magical Musketeers abused a lot. But... I really can't make easy to make level 5 or lower fusion monsters strong, like Norden, because people will just use instant fusion and abuse it that way. I think it's one of those cards that just totally limits future card design, if you get what I mean. Um, so the next card I want to see to limit it. Um, Konabi sometimes returns wacky cards to limit it, and I want to see this one tested. Change of Heart. Yes, I know what you're thinking. This card used to be ridiculous in the past. But stats still went back to 1, and that was a disaster. But this lasts until the end phase. It targets, well, I mean, Statue Shield does as well, but, yeah. And it's not equipped, so you can't easily just run it as an Isolde. Garnet. Kind of thing. But I don't know. Um, mind control seeing play in some decks, not all decks. I wonder how much impact Change of Heart would have on the game. I personally think, just like Monster Reborn, it seems really strong, but in practice it won't be run that many times. In that, of that often, you know. I mean, yeah, the monster can attack, and you can steal any monster. And the recent Iwata to Brain Control may suggest they are not planning on releasing something like this off the ban list. I think it would be at least interesting to see it return from one format. See how much damage it does to the game, because I think it will not be that bad. I think it will be an interesting tech choice for some decks, but in general, it won't ruin the game or anything. So the next card I want to see limited is Pot of Everest. Why is this card on the list? I mean, yeah, it could be strong in decks like Salman Great. Yes, it could be strong in decks like Sky Striker. But it's not going to be game breaking, and I could see plenty of other decks that would love to see this card return. I mean, yes, it's a draw too, but... I mean, we have Sky Strike and Gage, that's basically the same amount of pluses, right? Well, not exactly, but you, you get what I mean. I think this card... I don't, I don't know, I missed this card, I want to see it back, basically. Um, that's just me being a boomer, being an old school Yu-Gi-Oh player that wants to see one of my favorite cards back. Don't judge me. I don't think it will hurt the game in any way. In fact, I'm not entirely sure it will be ran that much, even in the first place. Next card I want to see limited is Cult by the Grave. As a combo player, this might be a weird choice, but I think um, as long as Cult by the Grave exists, certain hand traps just become too sacky, something like Ash, you know. Just becomes, oh, can you draw your um, Ash and can I draw my Cult? And it just becomes a second contest at a level that shouldn't exist. Um, why one copy? Well, I mean, it's not gonna hurt that much. Um, some decks can just use it as back row. Or it has some situational use, but it doesn't become too obnoxious. just completely stops hand traps. Might need to get banned, though. I'm not sure. But I think Cult by the Grave to 1 would be a good idea, personally. If hand traps get nerfed, of course. The whole ban list wish list is like, this, uh, this is supposed to happen in the same ban list. Anyways, the next card I want to see limited is DDR, Different Dimension Reincarnation. So it's either this card has to get limited or Power Tool Dragon goes, and I want to see DDR. I mean, I, I want to see Power Tool Dragon still in the game because of other utility uses. DDR... It has interactions with cards like Armageddon Knight that just shouldn't exist. And this discarding isn't a cost of Bamboo... Uh, sorry. Phoenix Blade, but... I mean, even without Phoenix Blade, decks are gonna find a way to abuse this. 
Ja, there, are, have there, there have been some use for DDR, and I can't think of any healthy examples. I know um, Darkseid reused it to return Omega to the field to help loop another card, for example. Like... <sighs> Make a new DDR that negates the effect, and we should consider that card a good card, but right now this just doesn't negate effect, um, which is just too good. And another card that wants to be limited is Red Reboot. I think the issue with Red Reboot is that as long as it exists, traps will never be reliable enough. There are other ways to out back row, I mean, are scanning Lightning Storm, I believe it's called soon. The right Gekki and Happy Feather Duster Hybrid. We got Twin Twist, we got enough back row hit. Red Reboot is not needed to combat back row at the moment. And it just enforces one turn kills, I mean, the turn you use this, you need to kill your opponent basically. Still, one copy, um. Give decks some chance to fight back against just back row decks. Make sure the decks are aware there's still a card out there that can screw them over. But that makes it as reliable as Red Reboot, because as long as this card exists, back row will never really be strong again. Because there's always this chance your opponent just sides in Red Reboot and screws over the entire back row. I think well, it is a bad designed card, or as much as I like using it. Red Reboot was a mistake, honestly. And the final limited card I want to see is so you have Skull Red. All of these effects should have been once per turn, and none of them are. Well, I mean, the gaining attack should be once per turn, but... <sighs> yeah. The normal... Sorry, but being able to special summon a monster from your hand multiple times in a turn, and being able to draw four. Well, I mean, the stacking isn't that much of a cost. And doing it multiple times. It's just disgusting. Basically, it enables you to go to the top 12 cards of your deck. To make so many cards suddenly easy to get out on the field, and that's just not okay. I mean, be glad Soul Charge is gone, else it could just dig into Soul Charge with all the new cards we've been getting. I mean, yeah, it's quite lit with Infernity, but let's get real. In no possible way should Soyuya be a twee. So, the semi limited cards. Now, this part will be a bit shorter. First card I want to go back to two is Speedroid Terror Top. Speedroids have been getting new support, give them their best monster back, so they can actually stand a chance at playing the game. I believe it's... never mind, I want to say it's to an OCG, but it's not. But you know, even then, um, realistically speaking, what's the hell top gonna do? Make PA suddenly good again? I mean, yeah, there are some decks that are gonna love the fact that they can go into a rank 3 for free. There are some decks that are gonna love the fact that they can just summon um, Blink 2s without issue. But in reality, it's not going to become broken, especially if Terra Top is only at 2 copies. I'm not advocating for 3 Terra Top, that's going to be ridiculous. 2 should be fine, in my opinion. Next card, I want to see Semi Limited as Reasoning. Reasoning isn't free because there's still a chance they call the number right. There are a few decks that could benefit from this. Inferno could become stronger, Cosmo could become even stronger. I mean, they're already half most of the cards of the band. Actually, all of it is from off the balance right now, not having any impact. Yeah, there are some decks that maybe could benefit from this, but it's still a gamble, and most consistent meta decks don't like gambling. So, why not let it go to 2? I don't like using OCG as an argument, but they have 2 reasoning, it's not doing much there. Can we have it? Maybe if Furnoid becomes relevant again, would that be an issue? No, it would mean more diversity. Why the hell not? Next card I want to see go to 2 is Emergency Teleport. Yeah, with Needle Fiber it might be a bit too much, but I honestly doubt it. it. I mean, what are you gonna do? Run it with Ghost Ogre in your deck? I mean, it's possible, but is that really worth it? I know Emergency Teleport used to be really strong with Cosmo Farm Girl, and I believe that's the reason it got limited in the first place. But realistically speaking, it's not gonna do a lot. Yes, it could once again make BA really strong, but yeah, that's not a bad thing if you ask me. Next card, and oh boy, this is gonna be controversial. I want to see it to semi limited. Hear me out before you get mad. Is Infernity Launcher. I can already imagine people freaking out over me saying this, but let's get real. Infernity Launcher could go to 3, Archfiend could go to 3. Infernity will do nothing at events. Wanna know why? Because the deck is so fragile. A single hand trap, used at the right moment. Infernity is dead, the combo is gone. You lose the duel. The deck is so fragile. Yes, it can make flashy plays. It's a lot of fun to play. It's not gonna do anything, even with 3 launcher. I can guarantee it. It might take a few tops at regionals. 
which means more diversity in the meta, but it will not do insane stuff. Yes, I showcase insane infinity replays on my channel. Yes, Duncan just found an insane two card FTK with infinity that uses what's it called again? As a tot. But let's be real, these are cool combos. These are cool duels from Yu-Gi-Oh Pro against actual meta decks. Infinity has no chance to even play. Why is this card still at one? Yes, it sounds ridiculous on paper. You can just use Archfiend, search this. Some Archfiend back with Launcher. Search another copy of Archfiend. Plus way too much. But what are all those pluses going to give you? Yeah, a couple of negates. Guess what? A lot of decks can. So I probably need three cards to FTK you. There are many decks that can e FTK you with the greatness of ease. These decks aren't topping all events either. Infinity Launcher isn't that big of a deal anymore. 2019. Wake up, Konami. You've screwed over Infinity players for so long, it's time to give us something back. I, I, I mean, why not launch it to 3? Or to 2, sorry. Not gonna advocate for 3 yet. Put it at 2, see what it does. It will do nothing. We get 3, it still does nothing. That's what I'm claiming. Yes, it might top a regional so, or 2. Diversity is good for the game, if you ask me. Next card, and final card I want to see semi-limited, is Spiral Resort. One, another one of those cases like Spiral isn't doing anything. Putting up Spiral Resort to 2 might make, give them a few tops. I guess the deck doesn't make Konami any money mere anymore, so that's why it's not a 2 or a 3. But would it realistically do anything? Yeah, maybe. So, try it out for a format, see how it goes. Don't be afraid to say, sorry, we fucked up, and put it back at 1 if shit goes out of hands. But I do not think Spiral Resort will be an issue at 2. Give the deck power back. Try to make the meta more diverse. People, and uh, including me, are getting tired of this current meta. We need to change. So, time for some unlimits. First one, Dark Arm Dragon. Doesn't do anything at 2, doesn't do anything at 3. Not gonna waste more words on this. Let's the Archfiend to 3. Yeah, sounds somewhat scary. But here's a little spoiler for you. People will not run 3 Archfiends, we will only run 2. 3 just means you draw too much Archfiends and you don't want that. There are enough ways to get out Archfiends anyway. The only way Infinity is doing anything at the moment is as a fun combo deck online. On its own, Archfiend to 3 would do nothing. We would get one more Archfiend in the deck. Realistically speaking, you aren't running 3. And Infinity sounds insane, but it really isn't that bad anymore. Honestly. I know there have been some replays. I know my friend Alan had an insane Zephra Infinity build. But let's be honest, it's not going to do anything. So please give us Archfiend back. Thank you. I also want to see 3 performance damage juggler. I mean, the difference between 2 and 3 is so small and is it realistically gonna do anything? Hint, no, it will not. Just so you know. Next card is a pair of cards, once again, Sir Malabranch of the Burning Abyss and the Graf Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. I honestly don't think it will be that big of a deal, it might make the deck meta relevant again. Which is what I'm trying to achieve here. I want more diversity in the meta. I'm done with the current meta. Yeah, but then we'll see Burning Abyss again. We've already seen it for five years. Yeah, so what? Blame Konami for not designing good new archetypes that people like to play. I mean, we have a few of them, I guess. But um, So, just search the three, craft the three, if you ask me. People will probably not even run three copies of both. Maybe they will. I don't know. Not that much of a BA player. I don't expect the deck to do much. The only card should be troublesome to 3 is Beatrice, and I'm not advocating for that here, so. Put them to 3 for format, see what happens. Maybe Hell will be unleashed, Burning Abyss becomes 3 or 0. Would be funny, I don't care, but it's not gonna happen realistically. Next card, to a guide from the Underworld. Yes, it does help Burning Abyss, yet, yes, it helps other decks. Will it suddenly do insane combos on its own? No, it will not. I mean, there are other cards that are just better normal summons out there at the moment. Think of stuff like Armageddon Knight. No way, two guys at three is gonna break the game. And once again, I'm biased. I would like to use this for infinity. <coughs> Not even gonna lie. Next card I want to see to go to three is that Crash Luke's Greener. So in order to run this card properly, you need to run 60 cards. That means adding 20 additional cards to your deck. That means you have less chance of seeing OP hand traps, meaning you have less of a chance going against popular decks. Um, yes, there are multiple decks that can use this: Light Swan, um, Infernoid, Zombie. Are we seeing those decks top? No. Are people tired of the meta? Yes. That crash looks greener to 3. Does a set hit Orcus so that I can't abuse it too much. 
Hell, destroy orcas to make sure they aren't part of the game anymore. People will not enjoy the offset of that crash looks greener versus running 40 cards, I can tell you that. There will be more diversity, Paleozoic for example will probably do better. And that's great! It will increase the amount of diversity in this game. Why the hell is this card not at 3? Why is this banned? Yes, it en enables power plays. Yes, it enables sacking. Who cares? Diversity is healthy for the game. In certain ways, and this is one of those examples of diversity that is great. And let's look at the OCG. Two copies. Still not three copies, but at least it's something. Oh well. Next card, Upstart Goblin. I mean, this might just be a bad choice because allowing modern card decks to run 37 cards might be a mistake. But let it happen. See what happens. Maybe Ban Magical Explosion or something like that or Life Equalize to make sure FTKs don't suddenly happen out of nowhere. But I don't think it will be a big deal being able to win 37 cards with the offset of giving your opponent life points, which especially with time rules can be relevant. Sounds fair to me. Next card wants to go to 3. Don't be afraid of Final Countdown. I'm telling you right now, Final Countdown goes to 3, nobody will play that deck. You need to survive 20 turns against the current meta. Without playing a deck like the meta yourself, yeah, good luck bro, not gonna happen. Also you need to pay 2000 life points, meaning if you are approaching overtime, without self-destruct button, yeah, good luck kid. Next card once you go to 3 is Book of Moon. Why is this at 1? That's all I have to ask. Bring it to 3, I mean, who is playing Book of Moon in 2019, seriously. Send me a link of that guy, I want to talk to him. He's a genius. No, but really though, Book of Moon isn't doing anything. And one trap, I want to see go to 3, just immediately off the ban list as time seal. Oh no, it skips the draw phase of opponent's next turn. That's so disgusting. Oh wait, you got drastic drop off, which effectively does the same. It's so slow, you need to set this card, wait a turn, use it, and then the next draw phase they are going minus 1. Seriously? It's not even remotely worth it, why is this card still banned? Theoretically, it can um, make opponent not able to play, yeah, like all those other cards in the game. Time seal, it's not gonna be an issue. Maybe put it at once so people can't abuse with trap trick, but realistically speaking, it's not gonna be an issue. And finally, another card should go to 3 is Zodiac Trident. Protbull was the issue. Red, maybe was the issue. Trident, no, it was not. Give the deck some power back. Why the hell not? Worst case, we see Zodiac as the additional engine. Would it really hurt us that much? No. So give us triple trident. Anyways, I hope you guys liked my bandless wishlist. You probably won't. I will probably get a lot of hate in the comments. Fun, fun, fun. Always enjoyable. Uh, but if you have any questions about any of the cards I listed on here and my reasonings, because you didn't understand my reasonings so far, tell me so and I will expand more on my reasoning. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. See you guys next time. Start as Yu-Gi-Oh! Signing out.